All right, and uh, welcome to uh, part two. Uh, so what else is uh, there for me to say? Well, um, it's looking like, um, and there are some spoilers here, uh, some spoilers. This, this is going to be quite uh, spoilery here, so consider yourself warned uh, if you are watching. Um, there was uh, a scene in the film's uh, climax where uh, the main bad guy, the Russian crime lord, mentions that uh, he has two more sons and of course if Brian kills him uh, the other two sons will uh, come after him um, I was wondering if uh, that meant if they weren't setting up a, uh, a sequel hook there trying to use that as a sequel hook for a third movie maybe even third and fourth movie if you have one son in the third movie and the other son in the fourth movie um, like I said you know um, Hopefully, um, this if there is a sequel, um, it will be set in uh, Los Angeles. Um, I mean, not that, you know, I want um, <laughs> the image that uh, us Americans can easily be kidnapped here at home as easily in, as easily in any other part of the world. But, um, you know, I do think that um, it's, it's going to be pretty contrived to be having um these uh guys track brian like all over um the, the um entire world yeah so um you know if there is another taken movie i think the action definitely needs to be set um in um la and not in um some other foreign country uh, also, um, I'm also wondering if there is a sequel, um, if uh, it won't revolve around perhaps Brian's uh, grandchild, as the sequel also um, as the sequel also had Kim um, have a uh, boy friend. Um, I think his name was Jared or Jason. I, I'm pretty sure it started uh, with a J, but I can't for the life of me remember what his name was. I mean. He only has like two scenes um, in the entire movie, but it ends with him joining the entire family if they're all eating um, ice cream on the beach. So um, yeah, um, definitely hinting that um, down the line, Brian might end up having a grandchild who, uh, knowing uh, the action movie cliches, will likely be Grand Torter, who ends up being taken. And, uh, I mean, hey, if that happens, maybe then we can finally get to see Kim, uh, kick some ass, because he'll have no fury like a raging mother. Well, it's actually a woman scorn, but I imagine a raging mother would be just as, uh, dangerous as a scorn woman. I know that, uh, my mother certainly is. <laughs> if anyone hurt me, she'd be on, um, hurt me or, or my sister, she'd be on the war path. Um, so yeah, um, hopefully that gets to be the third movie. If there is a third movie, I definitely think it's possible that they're setting up, um, that, you know, the mention of the two sons was certainly a sequel hook there. And, um, and of course, you know, Kim having a boyfriend and the fact that Maggie Grace um you know is way older than the character she's playing so you can easily you know time jump like to 10 years you know five ten years later and now you know her and her boyfriend are married or you know Kim has a child speaking of Kim something that also uh caught my attention Kim the same name of uh Jack Bauer's daughter in 24 yes both daughters who have Constantly being put in danger and constantly being kidnapped have the exact same name. So uh, I can't uh, wonder there if the uh, creators, writers <laughs> of Taken were not uh, massive uh, 24 fans. Doing a little uh, wink there to uh, Jack Power, you know, his daughter who's constantly ending up in trouble. Or at least, you know, was in trouble in the first um, in the first three seasons um when you know when we finally see her in the latter seasons i think she you know she largely manages yeah she's learned enough to know to um stay out of the uh line of fire <laughs> yeah so you know who knows kim uh in the taken movies may end up following the ex exact same path if they're not gonna go the empowered female uh 
you know, the empowered female root. At least make her, you know, at least make her uh, savvy enough to avoid the uh, line of fire. Because, <laughs> you know, it can only happen uh, so many times. Okay, I'm pabbling here. Uh, also, um, yeah, um, well, I guess there really isn't uh, much else for me to say. Um, you know, the film was good. I mean, um, check it out, you know, if you're interested. I mean, if you're a fan of the first movie, uh, I see no reason why you wouldn't um, like the sequel. I mean, you know, it's not as good you know, as the first movie, but it's definitely not bad. It's definitely not, you know, not a bad movie. I think it's very much, you know, a decent, um, you know, action, thriller, chase movie. Uh, I, I don't know, you know, if, if this would be my personal cup of tea. I mean, you know, I saw Taken, I liked it, but, you know, it's, you know, it's not the type of movie I'd watch, like, over and over and over Again, whereas, um, yeah, whereas, you know, my favorite movies, you know, Machete, The Expendables, um, 300, Palade, I have them all on uh, my iPods, and I, I actually like to watch them while I'm working out at the uh, gym, while I'm walking and run, running on the treadmill or coming up the, going up the stair climber, uh, you know, I might put on one of my favorite action films and just, you know, zone out while I'm um, burning off all my calories. Yeah, so uh, taking, I, I would not, I would not personally um, add um, to, you know, to uh, that list. But you know, but you know, but you know, considering that as a film on its own, it's not. A bad movie, you know. I think that if you are a big fan of the first movie, you will certainly enjoy this movie. You know, um, yeah. And uh, that's all I I can say about it. You know, it's a decent uh, action movie. You know, if you're a fan of Liam Neeson, if you're a fan of the first movie, definitely check it out. All right, and uh, that's it for now. Um, my next movie review will either be uh, the Red Dawn remake. I haven't made up my mind if I'm going to see that or not. Uh, but my next, but the next one I am definitely, without a doubt, re viewing will be the new James Bond movie Skyfall. So um, you know, if you like my re, you know, if you like my reviews, be it, you know, you're on YouTube or, you know, you're uh, friends with me on Facebook where I also share all of my re all of my reviews where I've been writing reviews since, uh, wow, 2008 now. <laughs> Actually started back in 2007 on MySpace, <laughs> but um yeah, um, I will definitely be seeing and sharing my thoughts on the new James Bond movie. Skyfall is, I'm a huge, huge James Bond fan. I've been a Bond fan since I was, um, I think about 10. Yeah, 10, yeah, 10 years old. So uh, stay tuned for that and uh, later.